Howdy champs, my name is Mohitin guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a flash image or a banner rotator. Uh, let me first show you a publish preview by hitting control enter on the keyboard guys, here goes control enter. Uh, this is the first picture, okay, tweens into the second picture, which will uh, take you to the third picture and we'll go back to the very first picture. Guys, I've used three pictures in this project, uh, in this flash file, but uh, you, you could have used more pictures as well, that's absolutely alright. So guys, I've used the timer class. Uh, uh, because it's not button control, it's time control. Okay, uh, <coughs> and I've also used a tween class to uh, tween uh, from one image to the other. Okay, and I've all uh, used the strong uh, dot ease out easing. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, I'll destroy uh, part of the project and we'll reconstruct it so you will get a much better idea uh, exactly how this was uh, done right so guys have a look out here we have a as3 layer which holds the action script let me open up the actions panel for you right okay so we have less than 30 lines of action script guys and um, let me close it up and we have the pictures layer, which is actually holding the three pictures so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy the pictures layer. I'm gonna go to the library I'm gonna select everything I'm gonna say control a and right click and say delete so basically I have destroyed everything that is inside the library right now guys uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, since uh, I'm only left with the AS3 layer with one single frame which holds the action script okay uh, I'm gonna insert one more layer I'm gonna rename the layer I'm gonna call it pix okay then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the picture so file import import to the library okay these are the three pictures that I would want to import so I'm going to select them all together so pressing the shift the control key guys I'm selecting all the three pictures in question uh, I'm going to say open and as you can see all the three pictures get imported to the library that's fine right next guys uh, let me tell you that the stage size is 550 by 400 but the images are a lot bigger 800 by 600 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the first picture Bigger part, and this is the first picture. Uh, as you can cl clearly see, guys, it is uh, bigger than the size of the stage. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the alliance panel, making sure align to stage is checked on. I'm going to click on this uh, icon which says uh, match width and height, okay? And uh, you can see that uh, it has actually uh, <coughs> adjusted itself to match the size of the stage, which is fine. Next, I'm going to click on this. Uh, icon to align it to the left edge and then the top edge okay so it's bang in the center of the stage now okay cool uh, next guys I'm gonna go back to the library I'm gonna pull up picture number two again picture number two is uh, bigger than than the size of the stage so I'm, op I'm gonna open up the alliance panel match the size of the stage okay after which guys uh, I'm going to go to the properties panel. Make sure that the X is set to 550 and Y is set to 0. Right. In doing so, guys, uh, what will happen is that the second picture will align itself uh, towards the right of the first picture. Okay, cool. Uh, next, guys, I'm, I'm going to go back to the library, pull out the third picture. Okay. Again, open up the alliance panel, match the size of the stage. Okay. Go to the properties panel make sure x is set to 1100 this time every picture is 550 in width guys okay so according to the calculation the x should be uh, 1100 and y should be zero okay so if i zoom out let's say at 50 percent you can have a look that uh, uh, what i've done is um, i've aligned the three pictures next to each other just into each other cool let me draw a mark here on the three pictures uh, selecting all the three pictures together let me press f8 and convert all the three pictures together into a movie clip keeping the registration point top left let me say okay fine i'm actually done now what i'll do is i'll drag the as3 layer over the pictures layer. that's the right way of working cool okay um, basically i'm done let me hit control enter to test okay uh, I forgot to give an instance name to this movie clip so let me call it rotator matching the name that I've used inside the actions panel okay so you, you see the first picture now this is the second one here comes the third one and we we'll loop back to the very first one 
all right so basically what is left now is for me to explain how this happened uh, how did the uh, action script actually implement itself okay so let me open up the actions panel guys there we are okay and uh, let me start uh, explaining the 28 lines of action script okay now the you need to Im use the import directive to import a few classes guys which will be needed uh, for the program to fire okay right so import fl dot transitions dot tween since i'm using the tween class since i'm also using the strong easing i'm uh, importing fl dot transitions dot easing dot star and uh, since i'm using the timer function so import uh, flash dot utils dot time okay <coughs> once you have uh, you know imported these classes uh, you can start writing the code so what i've done is i've uh, declared a variable counter one made it equal to zero i've declared yet another variable counter two and made it equal to minus 550 cool um, then guys uh, i've actually declared uh, another variable my timer of the type timer and made it equal to a new timer where i've uh, given it a value of d uh, basically a delay of uh, 3000 milliseconds so basically i'm uh, creating a new instance of a timer that will fire after every three seconds okay so let me comment here fires every three seconds cool let me save it up control s okay then guys in line number nine what i've done is i've added an event listener to the timer which is my timer uh, it's a timer event guys specifically uh, a timer event okay and every time the timer fires i would want a function called run to fire right and let's see what exactly is the function run so function run uh, says that if my timer dot current count is less than three now the first time the timer fires the current count is one the second time the timer fires the current count is two so as long as the current count is less than three okay i would want to use the tween class in the following manner so I'm declaring a variable my tween of the type tween is equal to new tween, basically creating a new instance of a tween. So guys, basic if you don't know how the tween class works, uh, I'm not going to explain it in this uh, lesson or tutorial. You'll, you'll have to look it up, okay? And then uh, it wants to know what exactly do I want to tween. So basically, I want to tween the rotator. Rotator, uh, rotator is nothing but the name of the movie clip and the movie clip which contains the three pictures. Okay, what do I want to tween? Which property do I want to tween? I would want to tween the x property. Basically, move it along the x-axis. What kind of easing do I want to use? I want to use the ease out, right? And uh, from which point to which point? So uh, which a coordinate to which coordinate do I want to move it? So counter one, if you remember, is zero. Okay, counter two is minus five hundred and fifty. So basically, I would want to move the the um, rotator, which is this movie clip, five hundred and fifty pixels to the left, so that this picture will go off the stage and the second picture will come onto the stage. This is the the whole logic, guys. All right? And in how much time do I want to move uh, move it? 20 falls means uh, 20 frames so the time it takes to move uh, uh, 20 frames that is the amount of time that I, I would want to use so 20 falls means 20 frames the time taken to move 20 frames right and guys if you remember uh, 24 frames per second is the default okay so less than uh, a second slightly less than a second that is what it exactly implies right so, okay so a fraction of a second less than a second uh, also what I'm doing is every time the timer fires uh, I am reducing 550 from it so basically counter 1 I'm making it equal to counter 1 minus is equal to 550 and counter 2 minus is equal to 550 basically it's, it's a way of saying every time the timer fires please reduce 550 from the existing value of the counter okay so this will happen if the current count is less than 3 but in case it is not else so basically what if it becomes equal to three or more than three okay so the moment it becomes equal to three the third time the timer fires i would want um, basically when the third you know the third time the timer fires is when actually all the pictures have shown themselves okay so i would want uh, to have another tween happening so creating another instance of a tween so basically creating another variable my tween one of the type tween uh, 
is equal to a new tween. Here again, I'm rotating the rotator. Rotator is the picture, you know, the bigger movie clip containing the three pictures. Again, I would want it to move along the x axis. So I'm tweening the x property. Okay, using the strong dot ease out once again. And uh, I'm, I'm setting the initial value to a minus 1100 uh, for the rotator from minus 1100 to a zero. So basically, what this will do is it will take the the third picture back to the very first picture again in uh, less than um, one second so fraction of a second 20 false means the time it takes to cover 20 uh, frames and basically it takes one second to cover 24 frames so less than a second okay and uh, so basically line number 17 is responsible uh, for taking the third picture back to the very first picture right so we are tweening along the x-axis from coordinate minus 1100 to coordinate 0 right and after which guys I'm running a function called reset routine I'm calling a function called reset routine what exactly is reset routine we'll soon see that and guys out here I'm starting the timer see see I've created a timer out here just creating a timer is not enough you have to start the timer too right now let's look at what exactly uh, when I call the function reset routine what exactly am I calling so here's the function reset routine so basically <coughs> uh, when the third time you know the third time the timer fires it will go back to the very first picture uh, then I would want a reset routine to be called upon what it does is it's basically setting uh, resetting the values of the counter if you remember in line number 5 the counter had a value of 0 I'm setting it back to 0 counter 2 had a value of minus 550 I'm resetting it back to minus 550 I'm resetting the rotator uh, X to a 0 basically I'm putting the the rotator back to where it was okay I'm no, uh, resetting the timer which will also stop this time timer guys once I reset the timer I need to start it again something which has been stopped must be started again okay so the third time the timer fires I'm I'm resetting the picture back to the first picture from the third picture okay I'm resetting all the counters I'm resetting the rotator X value I'm resetting the timer and then I'm starting the timer all over again pretty simple so uh, guys uh, just in case uh, you think that the action script didn't make sense which it doesn't to which it does not to most people you can actually download it from my website which is http colon for slash or slash quality lessons dot net for slash downloads okay so uh, guys uh, Guys, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash or ActionScript 3 tutorial or it could be reviewer. You have a good day guys. Bye-bye. Peace.